love to do is take jobs where nobody's really ever done anything. You know, at Tennessee, we had like a hundred All-Americans up in the wall, which there, there's something to be said for that too. But when you're creating and you get that atmosphere and, you know, I want I like to go places and put them on the map and help, help put them on the map. I don't do it, but get them to put themselves on the map. You can do your very best and fall on your face and how you react to each other will define who you are. They wanted to all, so they, what I learned was you can get really good individually, but if you don't get really good as a team, it doesn't matter. It takes 10 hands to make a basket. And figured that's kind of a deep one. But 10 hands, not two, 10. You had to pass the ball, you had to rebound the ball, you had to, all that was to make a basket. What's the definition of success according to John Wooden? Is it winning a national championship this month in March? Because he won 11 folks, more than any coach in the whole. They will have, no one will never do that again. What's his definition of success? This is what he says. It's the peace of mind, which is a direct result of self-satisfaction in knowing you did your best to become the best that you are capable of becoming. It doesn't say win a national champion. It says peace of mind. How many of you have peace of mind? There's a way to get it. Honest man's pill is his peace of mind. That's what, I was, all, that's what all Albright said. And what you will learn as you grow older is that life is a process. It's not something that it, today's your best day. It is all a process. Like John wouldn't punch somebody else, folks, before he actually wrote this stuff. You're gonna make, you're gonna do stupid things, forgive yourself, get up the next day and try it again. See, we wanna change the world and do it through basketball. Basketball gives me a kid's ears and eyes that they don't give to a lot of people. You know, I had, when I was a, a high school coach, I had a parent yell at me. Just first parent to ever yell me in, and she said, I told my daughter for 10 years, for five, 10 years not to go out with wet hair. And she'd do it every day. And you told her one time, and she dries it now before she goes out every time thinking she's going to get a cold. And she was mad at me. I'm like thinking, don't we want your daughter not to go out with wet hair? Like, why are you mad at me? Because she obeyed me. See, so yeah, you you've, you've got someone's ears and eyes, watch what you tell them. Watch what you tell them.